I missed uh, Andre Fialo, but he's he's blowing up right now, man. He's doing awesome. It's good to see. He's had a number of fights this year, like four fights this year already. They offer him another fight. He's going to fight like in July or something. Like he's going to fight again soon. It's good to see. Um, he trained AK for a little while. Wrestling isn't all there, uh, but he's got good stand-up and good power. He's got a, he's got a, definitely got a puncher's chance and everything, but he's a very technical striker and um, he's been he's been other places for a while, so who knows what his ground looks like now. But um, it's cool to see he's doing well, making some things happen. Uh, I I started off watching uh, the Blagoy Blagoy um, looked good, man. Uh, Marcos Rajero de Lima looked like a very dangerous man. He had some big ass thick legs, and he could get those suckers up to your head fast, bro. That's that's some crazy. That was crazy. Like I got scared. I I was like, Phew. he threw one fast high kick, and I was just like, whoa. It's like I ain't, I don't want that coming at me, bro. That's a big ass leg, and it came up fast. <laughs> like what? I was like, like, oh man, you gotta get this guy. Get inside. Don't let him kick you. Um, but he did. He fought hard, and um, I think you know that pressure uh, got in some clinches. He he looked good, man. It was awesome. Good, good to see Blagoy put in put in some work, get that big win. Brandon Royval, oh man, he uh he had a bit of a comeback, man. Uh Schnell, Schnell was putting it on him a little bit in the beginning, almost finished him. I think he he gave him a little bit of a break and didn't stay on him and then got put in a bad spot, got choked. Not good. He was, he was like this close to pull him off and then ended up losing. Sucks. Uh Macy over. Dumont, Trinaldo over Roberts, Randy Brown, uh, Kalan Williams. This was a this was a fun fight. These guys are both tough. These guys are both tough, and they both could cause a lot of problems to some of the guys at this weight, welterweight. Uh, it was a good fight. Both these guys look really good. It'll be interesting to see what they're doing next. I haven't. I don't can't remember if I've seen them fight recently. Uh, and then Marcio Hua and. OSP like I don't know man it was slow it was slow and I don't I don't even know if it was a good decision or what I, I couldn't even tell I couldn't tell who is winning when I was watching that fight I couldn't tell Chandler Ferguson pretty crazy uh Tony was you know making it bloody he's throwing those elbows from his back that's another great example of what you're supposed to do, what you're supposed to do when you're you're fighting from your back, when you're on your back, right? He's he's movement, constant movement, trying to create space, trying to trying to throw him off balance, trying to sweep, throwing elbows. That head head comes down, he's trying to throw elbows at the dome, get his head head get his posture up, create the space. Great, I'd like to see that. Tony though got caught uh, with a blind kick right up the middle. He circled kind of into it. Probably didn't even did probably didn't even see it, you know. It was probably under his visual range below him, and it just <laughs> had no idea what was coming. I was uh, next fight the Rose and Carla. Got to be honest, I didn't really watch it. I had dual screens, and I was watching the boxing. There was nothing that caught my eye about the fight that made me want to focus on it. So I, that's probably that's probably where I watched the most of the boxing event was during that fight. Uh, and then Charlie Alas, baby, and Gaethje. I really like watching both these guys fight. But Gaethje, uh, I felt like he resorted back to his old wild man stuff. And I think it wasn't an accident. I think Charles pushed him into it. You know, his pressure. Charles is using really, really good pressure. He's just on him, on him, on him. And fourth, Gaethje to kind of fight back hard. Could also have been the fact that Gaethje dropped him once and and saw that as an opportunity to start pouring it on. And he jumped the gun. He jumped the gun because Oliveira, man, he's a stud. And that is something that's coming up is, is that really the fight that we all really needed to see? Habib and Charlie, right? Mr. Oliveira and Habib. That right now actually is intriguing. That sounds intriguing. Nobody else sounds interesting at all. I think, in my opinion, Khabib steamrolls everybody. But this is interesting. He could possibly steamroll 
Oliveira, but Oliveira has a lot of tricks on the ground. He's slick jujitsu, pointy elbows. He's active off his back, and he's got really good clean stand up. Got a good chin. Could be in twenty five minute fight. Could be really interesting. It could really be interesting. Maybe that. Maybe that's the fight we needed, not the fight with Tony. I don't know if he'll come back though. He's like two hundred five <laughs> right now. Two ten. Big olives. Yep. He's a stud, man. I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Came from the bottom, and and I, I feel like he's one of those guys, man. He just put in work. He slept. He, they slept on him for a long time, and then he got up on top. That's why I feel. I almost feel like they they fucked him on the way in, because I feel like they've had so many opportunities for other guys to miss weight, but like they didn't miss weight. Like the the, the, the guys like yeah, you made it. <laughs> you know, they just read it fast and they push it over. Uh, I don't. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. I don't know. That's my. That's my conspiracy theory idea. Is like they. They wanted it. it had. They need. They didn't force it. Like oh hey, we're gonna make him his way. It was like oh take take advantage of this situation. Take advantage of the situation. Don't let him pass the weight. We'll strip him. <laughs> now they have the belt. They can do whatever they want with the belt. They don't. They said, oh oh wow. They said publicly that they have to give him the title. They're gonna give him the title shot right away. Number one contender. It doesn't mean shit. They're the promotion. It's a promotional title. They can say whatever they want. When you people learn, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Oh, well, they said they say lots of things. It's all bullshit. It doesn't mean anything. You're not going to hold them to anything. Yeah, there you go. Dookie Love said, should have held the towel like others did. There's plenty. You can do You can do the bird man. That, that was one of my old tricks. You come up, you do this, and you go. In that time that you move your hands down, a lot of times it'll... It'll lift you up a little bit, just enough for a to touch that line. And if you get the commissioner guy who just wants to see it touch the line, touch the line, push, he pushes it over. Made it. 171, 170. Like, that's it. Like, there's, there's no pushback. It doesn't take a long time. They're not like, uh, we got to make sure it balances perfect. It's not very often that that happens. Most times it's like, oh, if it touches the line just little, it's enough. Yes, you're right, hybrid. It's a fishy business and because the business model, the business model, the basic business model is corrupt. The bedrock of the uh, whole structure is, is based on sand. It's, it's not bedrock. It's sand. It's all, it's all gel and squishy and stuff. Bird man. That's right. The bird man. If you don't know the bird man, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I've gotten yelled at it a couple times about, hey, don't move your arms. <laughs> Some people know what's up. <laughs> the the towel is one of the ultimate hacks because it's a optical illusion. It's an optical illusion. It's misdirection. You're looking over here and the action's over here. Everybody's looking at the scale. Everybody's looking at that scale thing. Even you, as you lean over and push the towel down to make yourself lighter. 